There are seven flights that have been scheduled to take Indians who are stranded or stuck in the UK back to India. There are two flights to Mumbai, one to Delhi, Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad and Ahmedabad. For the schedule, the best thing is to keep checking the Indian High Commission website as they keep constantly changing. Number two, as far as the fare is concerned, which is a huge concern amongst many people it is economy 539 pounds inclusive of taxes and 1493 business class inclusive of all taxes but once people reach India the specific states have actually arranged for quarantine facility and that's the responsibility of each state everybody would need to quarantine mandatorily for 14 days and this is chargeable too and the flight cost does not include that what are the costs involved there we hear that it is according to packages but we don't exactly know what they are as of now now on the uh, at the airport people will be checked their temperatures will be checked and those who are found to be uh, having some symptoms won't be allowed on the flight on reaching as we have said 14 days of quarantine and if any symptoms develop then the health protocol of India will be followed um, with regards to the social distancing uh, on the flight so there are 303 seats capacity in the flight but only 250 max will be taken on each flight because social distancing has to be maintained even the crew on the flight will be wearing protective gear all across so that is quite important to note at this point in time because in all uh, there will be only 1750 if we go by the 250 figure or maximum 200 people 2000 people sorry who can be taken back but people who have registered their intention uh, on the HCI website are more than 10,000 so clearly it will leave a lot of people distressed dissatisfied and angry and that's not the only reason a lot of people are quite put off by the expensive flight so they think that the flight is expensive especially because uh, many of them have bought a ticket before they are not going to get a refund they are only getting vouchers from the various airlines and especially for tourists these vouchers are of no value anymore as they say so even Air India is going to refund the cost of the flight earlier booked but they are not going to adjust it in this special flight that they are taking so the money has got stuck number two quarantine being charged is something that has put off a lot of people as well so as of now the numbers coming together for uh, going back this is a selective process one has to definitely remember because the HCI who on the basis of the registration forms um, is received will decide the urgency of each to go back and there's a vulnerable category that has been defined which is that pregnant women elderly those who are sick and have had a death in the family will be given the priority they will be record the HCI will be contacting these people once they confirm they are going Air India will be booking the ticket so it is a lot of process and that's why possibly the schedule keeps changing because the earlier one was on the 7th of May and people here are also working round the clock but this does not deny the fact that these seven flights will not answer uh, the questions and the anger of everybody it will leave a uh, business unfinished here in the UK many wanting to go back many can't go back because of uh, the kind of expense that it is going to cause a lot of people not everybody is a student and it's very very rare that a lot of students might be able to get onto this flight because that's where the real voice was to go back to India many of them actually are also people who have come on business visa and some of them their visas expiring now in the first bout the visas were automatically extended to the 31st of May but what happens if they are not able to go back uh, till the 31st of May and their visas are expiring is another question that would need addressing at this point in time but some of them will be going back 
and uh, those who are not going back will have a lot of questions and do have a lot of questions and anger at this end. Lavina Tandon.